Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 29th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial, we are gonna check out a few list functions and the first method that we're gonna have a look at is the length method or len in Python and uh, this method returns the number of elements that are present in a list. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a list and I'll call mine my list and uh, we know that we have to use square brackets to create a list, right? So the you know, I'm, I'm just going to have some numbers in my list and I'll put in one and three and five and nine and let's say I want a four there, right? So the list has five elements and when I use the length method, I'll have to type in len and then within parentheses, I'll have to pass the name of my list, which is my list. When I press the enter key, I see five as a result and that's because the list has five elements, right? The next one that we're going to have a look at is the max method and uh, when it is used on lists that have uh, numeric values it returns the highest value in the list right so if i would use it with the list my list let's check out what it returns we see nine and that's because nine is the highest value in the list currently and you know similarly you also have the min method and this one returns the minimum value the least value and when i use it with my list i get one as a result and that's because one is the least value right the next method that we're going to check out is the count function and this function returns the number of times an element is present in a list and you would have to pass the number that or the element that you wish to you know count in your list as an argument to the function right so let me change the you know uh, elements that i have currently in my list my list now so let's say i'm on three a few times and uh, i also want uh, one a couple of times and i want uh, five three times and i want to have uh, seven a few times and i want to have nine a couple of times right okay so i have a few typos here i get rid of those and when i press the enter key my list is created right so let's say i want to find out how many times seven is present in the list what i'll do is i'll type in the name of my list object which is my list follow that up with a dot operator and that is nothing but a full stop or a period or whatever you guys call it. And then I'll type in count, right? And this is the name of the function that we have to use. And within parentheses, I'll type in seven because we wish to know the count of seven in the list. When I press the enter key, I see four. And that's because the number seven is present four times in the list. The last method that we're going to check out in this tutorial is the append method. And this method is used to add an element at the end of a list. And uh, the way we use it is, again, I'll have to type in the name of my list object first. So I'll type in my list, then a dot, and then append the name of the method, and then the value that you wish to insert at the end of the list. And by the end, I mean the right hand side of the list. So whatever value I put in here between the parentheses, that value will go after nine in the list. Right. The only limitation of this method is that you can add one element at a time, but you know, still it's a very popular function and that's why I thought that we should discuss it. So let's say I want to have an eight at the end of the list. So I'll type in eight here and I'll press the enter key and I don't see any, you know, result because the function doesn't return any value. I'll type in my list to see the contents of the list. And there you go. I see that there's an eight at the end, right? So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we're going to check out a few more list functions and I hope you guys uh, had fun watching this tutorial. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.